Altcoins are absolutely rocketing, just as we told you they would. When things look dark and things look grim is when there's the absolute maximum amount of opportunity. And that's why we keep preaching for you to fight against your emotional reaction to this market. So today I'm gonna to be laying out exactly how you can maximize your benefit from this incredible and bountiful and beautiful alt season that only comes around once every so often. But while it's here, it's important to plan for the future, even if that means sacrifice some short-term profits. If you guys want to know exactly how I'm going to go through this altcoin season and how I'm going to manage risk and make sure that I maximize profits and protect from downside, then go ahead and smash that like button because today's episode is going to be packed with value. And you're also going to learn about some incredibly useful tips that I've been using over the past few months. And I certainly wish I knew back in 2017 and 2018 when the last alt season came around. And if you guys want to know the absolute best coins of tomorrow that have yet to pump and do 10, 20, 30x growth, like Alliance Block, which we'll be talking about today, which just dropped an absolute bombshell announcement, then you're definitely going to want to be subscribed with that bell notification on, and you'll be made aware of the absolute best coins in this market before anybody else. As always, for those new to the channel, remember there are scammers in the comments below impersonating me. I will never give you a phone number. I will never ask you to contact me or send me funds. And there's also scam videos playing before my video. Just a simple rule here, never send anyone else money. Sounds good, right? With that said, let's dive in. So before diving in today, we have to have to cover GameStop. Of course, you probably already know about it, but for those of you that don't, essentially there's a group of Redditors called Wall Street Bets that essentially started figuring out that you could take the absolute worst stocks trading on Wall Street and essentially buy the heck out of them, sending their price up, and it would trigger what's called a short squeeze. Now, a short squeeze is triggered when there's a lot of leveraged bets on a stock going down, a lot of shorts. And this is exactly what the case was with GameStop. And of course, AMC, two businesses that we know are struggling and probably will go out of business soon. And so, of course, any logical investor would be shorting or short on the market. This created a lot of rocket fuel for people to overcome those shorts and create this short squeeze, which is when the market price goes so far against those shorts, it goes up, and then it starts liquidating those shorts, and it creates an explosive upward price trajectory. This is what the power of the internet is, which is essentially a bunch of internet nerds figuring out how to overcome the Wall Street machine. And it got so dramatic that essentially Robinhood suspended buying GameStop because they saw this as market manipulation. And I actually retweeted this, which is Maddie Greenspan, who said, is this the part where Robinhood gives the money back to the rich? But essentially, this is summing it up, which is that Robinhood stepped in on behalf of the poor Wall Street bankers who were getting overrun by a bunch of Reddit nerds, realizing that there was a bunch of shorts that they could go after. And they started targeting other stocks like AMC and really just any stock that the market was short on. This is a really crazy thing that happened, probably one of the most interesting stories of the year as, as far as securities trading or really any kind of trading is concerned. And that led to this army of people who are now being interfered with. There's no longer a free market here. And of course, now we get these same exact people realizing that Wall Street won't step in and interfere here in crypto land. So we have this energy of the internet wanting to have some kind of meaningful impact on trading markets. And now they're turning to crypto, where of course, there's not going to be a circuit breaker. There's not going to be someone stepping in. There's shorts, there's longs, there's all kinds of fun things to play with over here. What we should be telling these people is something simple and plain, which is if you want the most unadulterated, raw, authentic trading market in the world, you need to go to Uniswap. That's the only thing we should be telling people is Uniswap, Uniswap, Uniswap. It is the truest and freest market in the world. It is both the upside and the downside, grueling volatility. But if that's what they want, then that's what they'll get here on Uniswap. And it, to me, is one of the most amazing opportunities currently in the world today, which is trading on Uniswap. And so if you're part of the Wall Street Bets army watching this, if you know somebody, if if you know a general, a lieutenant, do me a favor, tell them Uniswap. And that is the true promised land for these dignified DGENs. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think of this whole GameStop story? Even my girlfriend was telling me all her friends were talking about it. This is amazing to see pop culture and trading markets and finance kind of collide and smash together like this. I absolutely love it. With that said, we have yet another day of struggling Bitcoin dominance here. And to me, this is about to break down in a major way. We can see some resistance coming in here, uh, some support rather, but if if this starts breaking down, we can see an absolutely flourishing alt season. Now, it's worth knowing that when you see this out of Dogecoin, right, when you see a 227% pump out of Dogecoin, a coin that already has a $3 billion market cap, meaning that it's, it's grown billions of dollars in market cap, what you're seeing here is a push of absolute insanity. And this is going to trickle around into the other crypto markets as well. And if this starts being the case that all kinds of alts get sent to infinity and beyond, I just want you guys to know that it will likely be an incredible 
incredibly, incredibly lucrative time for altcoin holders. Yeah, I wonder who's been telling you that that was coming for a while now. Well, it doesn't matter what's the catalyst. What matters is that you plan for these things, get ahead of them, and are there to capitalize on them. So if you ever see a number like this in your portfolio, I'm urging you to please take profits and please distribute those profits in a sensible way, whether that's into Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDC, whatever it is that you want to distribute that's a long-term, more stable asset. I want you guys to learn throughout this alt season to take profits. And it's not about what could come next because there's always another opportunity. There's always another train here in crypto land that you could put those profits into. But if you're not in the habit of taking profits, then you will see these big green numbers turn into very big red numbers and you will be left with very little. And that is absolutely what happens to most people in this market. So I have my 10, 20, 30, 40, where I've explained this many, many times, 10% into Ethereum, 20% into Bitcoin, 30% stays in whatever coin has given you these magnificent gains, and then 40% gets cashed out either into stable coins or into Ethereum, as that's going to be put into another project, another opportunity, or just held as profits. The point is that you always get ahead when you get a big green number and you never get left behind. And it's not about greed. It's not about how much you could have gotten with the FOMO. It's about locking things in, having a strategy, and sticking to it. Because eventually a bear market will come around, the exuberance will leave crypto, and many of you will be wondering, what if? What if you had hit that sell button? And with the distributed strategy, like I'm suggesting, you will always have upside. So if this thing keeps going a thousand more Xs, you will still have a ton of money to be made. But if it doesn't, you'll be extremely happy that you pulled the trigger and made sure that your portfolio continued to grow regardless. This is how risk management is done. And by executing the strategy, you will see your portfolio blossom because most pumps are impermanent. Once again, checking in on some of my favorite coins. We have Rev here. We've been covering this thing since about a penny and it's just been bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. So getting over to the altcoin story of the day, we have Alliance Block making its new all-time high here at 93 cents just a few hours ago and pushing back up there again. Now they have, oh gosh, what is this? 14, 15 million dollars in volume on them right now. And that is for absolutely good reason. As I tweeted and as I let you guys know, many times Alliance Block had some serious fundamental news coming up and they just dropped the L-bomb here, which is of course the London Stock Exchange is now partnered with Alliance Block, which essentially means that their partner group now has direct access to Alliance Block's services, meaning that Alliance Block and that their essential goal to bring a bridge between DeFi and traditional finance is now reaching an entirely new phase. And you can see here that this is part of the magic that they had planned. I definitely heard some murmurs, some chatters about this. This was sort of an unconfirmed rumor for a while now, but I had a feeling that they were going to drop this sometime in January, and that's why I've been so bullish. And if you look at the chart, I mean, look at this thing. This has been an absolute glorious performer. Remember, we covered it right here at uh, under five cents here and look at this thing peaking up at its all-time high all the way up to 93 cents. I mean, that's a fantastic, fantastic growth here. Um, so congrats to everyone who's been in Alliance Block, who's a part of Alliance Block. I think that they're a really, really strong performer. They hit all the notes for this bull run and congrats to their team and anyone who's made profits in this particular coin. So shout out to the ALBT fam. I think this has been one of my favorite picks that I've done on the channel. And I'm so excited by all the messages of people who have grown with this one. And while they're not the only player in town that can do this, I thought this was a nice timely tweet here by Greg, who's the head of Akash Network. As you guys know, I'm really bullish on Akash Network, and I think that they are an interesting play coming up because they're really just starting to roll out. They still are not widely available on good exchanges. They're working on a variety of things that I'm personally excited for, and I'll be setting up a node as soon as I get through my launch phase here, and my CTO has some time to free up. I'll be setting up a node, a validator node here, and letting you guys all know how to stake to it because I believe that this is definitely one of my projects to watch for 2021, and I believe that they still have a lot of growth to do given how useful their network can be. And this is just one example of them hopping on a trend here uh, and showing that they understand uh, what people want. And hopefully, you know, maybe they are a good place to host Wall Street bets. I think there's a variety of places that could be done with this, but they definitely are a prime target for a place that could fill the void here with something like Wall Street bets, with something uh, that would be more decentralized. And of course, our buddies Injective launched decentralized futures on GameStop, and that's just playing more into the trend here. The point is that this moment had a real impact on pop culture, and I think it's going to spill over tremendously into crypto. Those in the know have long known and suspected that Wall Street and the centralized authorities that reign over traditional markets have been controlling the game, making sure that they never lose for a long time. And they are clearly sour about what happened with GameStop. However, now the mask is being ripped off and everybody is seeing the game for what it is, a rigged one. And it's driving record numbers of people here into crypto land. They're first flooding into Doge and then they'll soon figure out that there is a brave new world of new capital markets, new utilities, 
new excitement. And after they get the thrill of the gains, they will stay for the ethos, the tech, and the way that decentralized infrastructure can help them understand what could be possible in the future. I couldn't be more bullish about the effect of what's just happened with GameStop and Wall Street bets on the cryptocurrency ecosystem. And this insane pump out of Dogecoin is just the tip of the iceberg. We'll soon see that an army of newly minted traders because of the stay at home orders, because of all the restrictions that have learned to make a living trading in the markets, well, they're gonna realize that the real opportunity is not in traditional markets, but rather it's over here in the decentralized markets of the future. And I just wanna say to each and every one of you who might be seeing this, welcome. We have a lot of work to do, but there is so much more fun to be had here in the deep blue ocean that is cryptocurrency. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys are excited and I hope you guys are ready to deploy some serious risk management techniques as while the times are good, you wanna take advantage of them. Make hay while the sun shines and don't be left wondering what if, because if you're sitting on a mountain of gains, you should absolutely be making some plans. With that said, I do believe we're in store for an absolutely parabolic bull run for the history books, but I don't just trade my opinion. I trade based on a strategy. I stay unemotional. And that's why on days like yesterday and the crash days, you don't see me wavering. You don't see me getting emotional because I have my strategy and I just stick to it. And when you learn to develop that muscle of being unemotional, being unreactive and learning to execute a strategy, whether it's raining or shining, you too, I believe, will be in a better position. And if you guys enjoyed this, if you got value out of it, do me a favor, please give me a thumbs up. Remember that each and every comment on this video is entered to win your very own hardware wallet. We'll give it away tomorrow. With that said, if you guys want the absolute best information about coins like Alliance Block, which we covered at four and a half cents before it went on an absolutely parabolic 2,000, 2,400% run, well then all you have to do is subscribe and put that bell notification on because no one is putting you in a better position to take advantage of the market for free than this channel. And all you have to do is hit that bell and you'll be the first person in the world to know about what coins I value. With that said, I thank you so much for watching. My name's Elio Trades. You can follow me on Telegram or Twitter. And of course, I will see you very soon on the next episode.